Hi, I'm Tom Jordan. Welcome to the latest Malcolm update. In this edition, we're talking everything SEO related. So Malcolm has always had uh, SEO slash meta settings. However, we've added uh, a few more and we've also slightly reorganized where they live. So previously, some of the um, meta settings lived in the themes in the brand section. Now everything lives in settings. So as you can see, we're in my Malcolm, we're in settings. I'll quickly take you through the various things that you can change. Um, so if you hit meta content, this uh, lets you define the site title that's used on your hosted hub. You can see up here it says home lender. Um, that's defined here. You can also specifically for the home page change the meta title so it will default to home if left blank. We can see it's home up here. Um, you can change that. You can change the meta description, add meta keywords. Uh, social image, This, uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is when you share a page from your hosted hub uh, to, for example, a social network, so to Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, this determines the preview image that's pulled in, so you can set that here if you want to use a particular image. Uh, you can also override it on individual bits of content and some other pages. We'll talk about that later, but this is, this is where you would uh, set that up. There's also some other uh, system generated pages, obviously in uh, the hosted hub. Um, there's the FAQs only homepage, which um, you may or may not be using, but this is a, a filtered view that just pulls out your FAQs. If you're using that, you can uh, change the meta content in this screen. Um, if you're using the FAQ directory, which is um, this a, a page, a single uh, paginated area that pulls out all your FAQs regardless of what categories they're in um, you can uh, change the meta title of that here we also have a workflows only homepage which is a filtered view just of workflows you can change the uh, meta information here uh, also override the social image if you want to do that um, now a new area that we have added is the search results page for authors categories and tags so uh, when somebody searches for uh, an author, uh, you can um, change whether those pages are indexed and you can also um, change if they are indexed, the, the meta information. So by default, we turn the indexing of these pages off. There's a school of thought that, that you know, having lots and lots of pages that all point to the same pages is actually a waste of your, of your crawling budget from Google. We do turn the indexing of these pages off by default, um, but if for you, you want to turn them on, you can do that. Um, you do the toggle, that will then make them available to Doodle, and you can change the meta title, the meta subscription, keywords, and also define uh, a social image. Uh, when you set up a new uh, author, you'll also get all those options. So as I say, that's uh, for authors, it's also for categories, and it's also for tags. Um, Again, to change the ones you've already set up, you can go in and hit edit. Um, when you choose new ones, um, you also get those options. Another new uh, thing that we've added is as well as being able to change um, those pages that I've just shown you, if you hit on the advanced tab, um, this will take you to a custom language file. Now this is similar to the language file that we use in your themes um, for all on-screen content. This will actually let you change all meta content across the whole of your hosted hub. Um, and it's quite good if you want to really make some detailed changes and you want to do it all from one place. Uh, you do it from within this area. And when you're ready, you, you hit save. Now the benefit of having all these settings in the settings area as opposed to the theme is that if you change your theme um, you don't have to make sure that your meta slash SEO settings have accidentally changed as well. So we've we got some feedback from users and um, it seems that actually settings is by far the more logical place to um, keep all the SEO and meta related information as uh, you know, visual things may change from time to time, but normally um, people aren't so keen or aren't so fast to change their um, meta information. So as well as the settings uh, that I've just shown you, you're also able to uh, change things on individual bits of content. So if you go into, for example, an FAQ, 
um, and the configure area you're able to uh, change the meta content you can put a social image that will override the default social image uh, if you if you want to do that and as ever in in the publishing section um, you can um, when you when you publish it will inherit the visibility settings here so you can choose whether you want uh, a page when published to appear in search engines or not as well as it appear in the internal uh, Malcolm search or not other uh, features that we have include a uh, schema so your FAQ content um, is marked up using a uh, schema now this is um, a uh, way of uh, providing additional information to Google basically. So um, if you're using Malcolm in its traditional use, which is an FAQ uh, system, you should mark up your FAQ as FAQ page, and that will let uh, Google know that the content takes the form of a question and an answer. If you're using it a bit more generically, if you're using it more for sort of articles or, or how to, not quite question answer, you should change that to web page. Um, and that will let Google know that it's uh, it's more traditional web content. But by having this marked up in Schema, um, it's quite likely that your content will appear in uh, Google rich snippets. So that's when you search on Google and you sort of see those pulled out bits of information, um, which is really good. The other thing um, is that um, all your published uh, content that's visible um, appears in the sitemap so um, every hosted hub has a sitemap at sitemap.xml um, and if you use uh, Google Search Console you can put that into there and that will let Google know all, all the content that's available on your hosted hub and uh, should be indexed. So lots of cool um, SEO related things that hopefully uh, are useful to you and also will uh, result in more traffic from search engines.